Down trees, damaged structures, and flattened crops. The evidence has caused some Sullivan County residents to believe that a tornado may have passed through early this morning. Abigail Degler rode along with County Commissioner Robert Davis to assess the damages. Abigail, what did you folks see? Well, the president of Sullivan County Commission says he was only a mile away when this happened, and he showed me crop and property damages today from the storm. Right here, I have a whole bunch of leaves, and in an area 50 feet away, I don't have anything. Robert Davis describes what he believes to be the path of a tornado near Graysville, Indiana. Meanwhile, Sherry Fenton, a homeowner in Graysville, describes her experience with the damages late Monday night into early Tuesday morning. I was scared. I was really scared because I didn't know if it was just high winds or if it was an actual tornado. Fenton says she's never seen winds that strong before, and it was frightening to wake up to it. After his drive this morning, Davis noticed a path of damage across portions of the county. He says, thankfully, the damage seems to be relatively mild. I know it's crop damage and trees damage. There was a little bit of structure damage here and there. He says most of the structure damage came from limbs falling on houses and property. Fenton experienced this firsthand. And I jumped up and me and my husband were looking out the windows and it, it, stuff was just blowing everywhere and it sounded like a locomotive going through. She says waking up and not knowing what's happening outside is the scariest part. By the time that it was over and we could kind of see outside to see what happened, trees were down siding's gone off the house, roof's got shingles gone, it just, it's a whole mess. Fenton says she's got a long cleanup process ahead of her, but she's thankful everyone is okay. I'm not a weather person, I don't understand it all, but I just know that it, uh, it looks interesting. <laughs> Davis says the National Weather Service has been notified and will assess the damages to see if it was, in fact, a tornado or just strong winds. But after this morning, it was, I think, a tornado. Davis says since he wasn't far from the area, he was able to go and drive around Graysville to get a better idea of the damages residents are dealing with. All right, thank you, Abigail. Davis says he has kept in contact with the Sullivan County EMS, and as of now, there have been no reported injuries from that storm.